I have once privately sold feet pics to an anonymous fan for a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> Take two, not working. Has, has there been like a crazy encounter with a fan before with you? Yeah. Does it, a lot or? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just hard cause like, you know, uh, the way I was uh, looking, I was miserable every day. She told me. She was like, you look like you were, you wanted to die. Brother, how you doing today? I'm doing great, brother. Hey man, today's a good day. You know, I'm feeling good. You know, uh, we got a nice shoot. Who we got? Now, before that, let me talk a little about Taste of Culture, okay, TLC. Okay. You know? Tell me what TLC is. TLC is, is Lou. You know, in life, you got to, you know, talk a little bit about culture, about cool stuff, mm -hmm. you know, about mm -hmm. fun stuff, peaceful stuff. I agree. So I figured we might as well get a Taste of Culture episode with an interesting human being. Tell me why he's interesting. Oh, I should let you tell me why he's interesting. But, you know, we met him once, he's, you know. We did meet him once. Heads in the clouds. Heads it was a nice, clouds. nice little encounter. He was a cool dude, man. Cool you dude. know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you a little bit about him, man. Right, right. So talk to him. he's a very, very special guest, first and foremost. That's true. He's currently signed to Harry Music, Hi, studied yeah. biology Hi, at Boston yeah. College, but is now killing the rap scene. He mm -hmm. must be very smart. Studious Boston individual. Studious like, individual. That's a big deal. He's an elite lyricist and one of the most prominent rappers in K-hip-hop today. Oh, He's not it. only good at rapping, uh -huh. but also at composing songs and expressing music visually. Uh -huh. Meaning his MVs is sick. MV, I know. You know what I'm saying? I, know, I, I just got to throw it in there because I ain't super professional. I know what I know. He hates insects. <laughs> right. And he's a homebody. Homebody. Indeed. He must be an introvert. He's a, for sure, gotta be. I can right? relate. I can okay, relate. Okay, well, he you may know him from mm. his orange supreme button up shirt on Show Me the Money. Show me the Or S his too. melodic tools type music. Ooh. Everyone please welcome PH1. Yeah! What up, big dog? Hell an intro. What's up, man? What's up, man? Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Please. Thank you, man. Bro, I felt like I had to compete with you, man. Your Why? fashion crazy. <laughs> oh, Out man. of this world. <laughs> I got the Jesus. You know, but we so, have to Nothing too crazy. Hey, hold See, on. Hold you're on. not. Oh. Can I wear it? Oh. Can I wear it? Is it cool with the mic? Ah, uh, too blind. Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> sure. It's ah. Ah. PH1, why not PH2? <laughs> yeah. Because you got Gangsta yeah, Holly. Gangsta so what's going on, man? Uh, you my Korean name is Jun Won. Jun Won. It has the word one in it. Oh. So that's why it's okay. one. Uh, I made it in high school. <laughs> I, I made it back in high I'm school. Like, so wait, Holly, you know what I'm saying? You got the Holly ring on? Yeah, I did. It's a gift oh, from word. a fan, yeah. Damn. That's, that's, that's sick cool. though. So that's Holly, I'm assuming? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And your dog, dog Holly, you know what I'm saying? Gangsta Holly. Oh, Gangsta, sir, you gangsta. left her at home or something? Like yeah, she, my, my mom's actually over oh, at cool, my crib. Oh, right now? Oh, dang. She come over often? No, it's been three years she came to Korea. Damn. So she, yeah, she's staying at a hotel, but since I'm out here mm. doing this shoot, oh, yeah, yeah. she's. Ah, oh, I appreciate you home. coming out, yeah, brother. Of course, of course. You could have been with Holly. family. You should have brought Holly. I almost wanted to. Man, you, you know, um, I actually have a pet myself, you know. I love him so much, you know. Oh, I right, actually, right. I actually uh, got the, acquired the pet two days ago. Huh. Really? Uh, yeah, his name is Bobo. What, what kind? Uh, it's a giraffe. This Bobo right here. Bobo, Bobo say hi. <laughs> Bobo say hi. Bobo Harry Bobo Bobo, Bobo Harry. He Indu looked at me like, I was like, what? He said, you got a pet giraffe. Almost. Almost. I was like, in my head, I was like, oh, what, back home? Like, where? You walking around on his neck. <laughs> oh, my God. Bobo, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is nice Bobo. Nice to meet you, Bobo. Bobo, be nice. Say hi. Oh, my God. You ain't gonna say nothing? Say hi. Say it. He's not even looking at me. He's a little shy. You know, right. he's a little shy. Give him some time. Give him some time. And that's Momo right there. Bobo. 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 I She's think. a little shy. She's a little <laughs> shy. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. How you been, bro? How you been? Uh, I've been very, uh, very good to be back home. Yeah. Uh, I just finished my uh, North American tour. Indeed. About damn time. Oh. Uh, about damn and time. I had three weeks off mm -hmm. until I leave to Asia. Three damn, weeks. you busy, bro. Clearly, your family means a lot to you. Like, of what role have they played in your life? Like growing up and just getting into the music scene. Right. Um, I mean, I think it's like, it's the same for everybody, I'm assuming. Mm. Uh, family is definitely like the main fuel word, for my word. energy, for my drive. You yeah. Know? Uh, I'm out here in Korea by myself. Mm. Uh, my sister recently moved to Korea, so I, I have my sibling out here. Uh -huh. But both of my parents are still back in New York. Oh, so wow. it's like, I, I have this resp responsibility. Uh-huh. 
to like really work hard mm -hmm. and like prepare something when because they want to move out here for oh, good someday okay. okay soon hopefully and so yeah, like absolutely. i kind of want to like lay the grounds and mm -hmm. like have something for them when they come wow, you know i love I mean? that i mean wow. you're doing great brother Very the tour thoughtful. seems to be I going really so. well I mean, yeah. you man know why you ain't invite me to your tour you know i'm from la like i'm not sure where you were you time. where was i where were you you should have hit me up <laughs> you how you so damn famous no nah, how dm dude dm bro you're not gonna reply you way I, too bougie man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what i mean I you bh1 nah, bro i invited all my friends like vip about damn time part two yeah next time all right, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> How long did it take for you to realize that you was an introvert, like growing up? Um, until I came to Korea, I think actually. Really? Oh, interesting. Yeah, I didn't know I was an introvert back in New York, cause awesome. I was always like uh -huh. hanging out, no, hanging out with my friends. Oh, okay, okay. But here, I became introverted, I mm -hmm. think, mm -hmm. because of the culture shock, oh. because of the current situation that I was in. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't have anything going on when mm -hmm. I first moved out here, so right, okay. it's like it kind of made me like. Like more closed uh, off, maybe anti-social. Yeah. yeah, anti-social. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, How big was this culture shock? See, like from the outside, mm. I look like a Korean person, which I am. Mm -hmm. But in my head, and like under the skin, mm -hmm. I'm American. The okay. way I think, the way I perceive. So it's like when I first came out here, it's like damn, the, the way people think and the way people look at you, mm -hmm. uh, talk to each other, mm -hmm. uh, it's so different. And I'm trying to be careful about what, what I say right here. Why? Like, I don't want to be like, I, I'm not trying to diss uh -huh. the Korean culture. Nah, you're not. It's, it's just what very it is, different. Yeah. You'll be safe with us, bro. Yeah, worry, American right. culture is like more, more open. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You can just say, say whatever, whatever you, want. you know? Yeah. But yeah, yeah. in Korea, it's like everything's... Uh, that, was, that was actually a culture shock for me. More scrutinized. Yeah, that, exactly. Yeah, yeah, heavily. That was very culture shocking mm -hmm. for me, mm -hmm. actually. Because like, you know, in LA, is, I mean, in America in general, yeah, yeah. it's just laid back, do whatever you want, ask right, questions right. later. Mm -hmm. But like over here, it's like you got to follow a rule and you gotta like you know kind of you know make sure that you're walking straight mm. as hell you yeah. know what i mean and not messing up nowhere i feel so. like that that culture shock was even more severe for you guys because you, yeah. you guys interview k-pop idols right yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, idols are like no but i'm saying there are certain rules yeah of course of like course yeah, 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 yeah it's yeah, like yeah. super we had to learn that over time because like we're real time. edgy yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what i mean yeah, yeah. like we yeah. were real edgy, so it's like it took us time to even get to understand that weight. I'm I not supposed to do that. <laughs> were there were there any like situations where you almost got canceled? Us? Hopefully not. Where nah, would nah, I, nah, not, nothing I could think of. No. Okay, good. Nah, Hopefully nah. not. But no, <laughs> that's the answer. No. Hey, shout out to the editor for editing out whatever you guys might have slipped. Appreciate you, Usman. <laughs> I'm the editor. Like Boy, I save my ass every day. I'm probably going to step to that one. Oh, damn. I thought you guys had like a whole... Nah, we... Have a whole oh, yeah. Room. Yeah, yeah we're going to have an editor, but like, you know, I'm so controlling, man. Nice. Like, I like to do... You know, Dude, I like... You got to like be you. hands on. Yeah, like, you, you know you're hands on in the studio. You do yeah. your own thing, you know? Yeah. So, like, I'm kind of the same way. I That's, feel like there's an art in it. Yeah, we're being yeah. passionate about things. So, yeah, if you're passionate, right. you really want to be hands on and right. like see your work, right? Right, like, right. So, like, oh, I want to know, like, what's your story, bro? Like, how'd you get into the rap scene? Like. Uh, oh, because you started in New York, yeah. moved to Korea by yourself, yeah, and then you got into music. But yeah. obviously, there's things in between those. Right. Yeah. Uh, I, in was between those. I was college. I was. I was always yeah. into music. Like as a kid, yeah. I used to play the piano, uh, saxophone, drums, guitar, hey, whatever. Okay. Yeah. Anything that I could put my hands on, mm -hmm. I played. That's dope. Um, but because my family, my parents immigrated to the states for for me and my sister's education, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's like I couldn't tell them because i'm the oldest son too okay. so i had this like responsibility yeah yeah you had it on your back yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. so i was like i couldn't tell my parents oh i kind of want to do music but why was that such a hard thing to say like, it's just it's just hard because like you know uh i don't want to bring stereotype like asian nah, parents they it. want uh -huh. you know like want us to be like you know, doctors or whatever. Now nah, that's whatever, cool though, because even Africans, we're like that. Go yeah, to school, nah, I mean doctor. all parents, I think. Yeah, they most want of them, yeah. something that's like fine. a very like uh, respected profession. Because they want to yeah. flex and right. they don't want to say, yeah, my son's a rapper, you know. <laughs> and it's very unstable. It yeah, right. It, it, know, is, very, it is very, very unstable. You can be hot musician. today and right, right. tomorrow you... Yeah, so I, you know I get what, what they were saying, but that's why I couldn't disappoint them. So I studied hard. I went to college. That's dope. But I just couldn't stop myself from just 
falling in love deeper in music. Mm. So I just kept making music, uploading on SoundCloud. Yeah, and dope. Like that. And then I think somehow Jay found out about my music. Mm. Uh, you had one that took off? Uh, no, not like that. Okay. Uh, just, he, he was just invested in who I was mm. at oh, the time. Dope. Mm. Yeah, so I had a chance to come out here uh, for 10 days just mm -hmm. to see. Mm. Um, but within those 10 days, uh, I got contacted by like the biggest people in this industry. Oh. Like, you know, like Jay, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Tablo, Teddy, yeah, yeah. you know, all these people. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, whoa, like I'm a nobody, but they still, they're very interested in my music. Mm -hmm. That's sick. So maybe if I were to give it 100%, mm. I might have a shot. That's why I went back, okay. packed all my stuff, Ooh. and within like a few months, I, I, I came out here. Damn. Damn, what yeah. was that conversation like though, bro? Like, mom, Yeah, listen. your mom like, yo, mom, to do this to right now. No, but my mom was actually kind of expecting me to leave. Oh, oh, oh. I think okay. she knew it, it was coming. Out. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah, and she told me recently, a couple days ago, actually, uh, she actually wanted me to go because oh, cool. the way I was uh, looking, mm -hmm. I was miserable every day, she told me. She was like, you look like you were, you wanted to die. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like you wasn't happy. Like you just I wasn't, wasn't happy so, at all. So you were studying day. biology in, in college yeah, at the yeah. time. And then and after then what graduation, was the I worked at a dental office as an assistant. Oh. And, and you Trying hated to, that shit. I you hated were, it. So yeah, yeah. I switched to a web developer. Mm. I, I learned how Damn, to code. Damn, so you tell. Yeah, jump the gun twice. You smart as hell, bro. I had to survive. I had to survive. So I learned what I could learn at the time. Okay, okay. I coded for a little bit and then... Uh, yeah. Damn, that, that's you dope. coded? Yeah. Oh my god. You jumped on the stage. I, I did not know none of this. Rocking stages now. Yeah. Yo, yeah, you're crazy like crazy story now yeah, that yeah, I think yeah. about it. No, that's cool it's though. Crazy, but I, I, I always hear like I like to hear rapper stories or athletes because right. I used to want to be an athlete growing up. Right. Um, Wait, what sport? Basketball. Ooh. Oh, I'm a bucket. But yeah, like I used to want to be a hooper growing up and I got injured and all that went to shit. Mm -hmm. But like I was really passionate about it, you know what I'm saying? And then I I fell into this bubble, which is also cool and I really like. I like creating, you know what I mean? So. Um, but like having a conversation with my parents for the first time, like I want to do basketball, bro, my nuts sank. Bro. Like, he, you know what I said? I was like, damn, I'm going to do this. Cause like, I'm also the oldest in my, on my mom's side. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, yeah. And I'm not close to my dad. Right. Uh, and, and he had a son, but I, I don't even know him. Right, really, right, you know what I'm right, saying? Right. So it's like, I got a little sister, got to make sure she's good. And yeah. I'm like, I'm good at this sport, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to do this. But bringing it up was such a hassle for me. You guys can kind of relate to each other because y'all had the same responsibility and stuff. And now you out here doing all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. And now you out here about damn time. Yeah. Doing yeah, that but not this is superstar. I can't. Yeah, he's, we can't compete yeah, yeah, with him. Yeah, yeah. Superstar like, yeah, it's PH. All the same, it's all the same weight. It's all the same weight yeah, yeah, yeah. on our shoulders. Too. Yeah, that's true. And I'm sure you have your own story too. You know, being being. Here. I was the youngest in my family. My story is not as fun as you guys. Like, I, I don't just, think that matters. Like, you know, how, how if you're the youngest or the oldest, whatever. Right. But. I mean, yeah, because his, him, his fear was always like not being like successful, you know, and, I'm not and, and his yet, own head. Yeah. I just, uh, dude, what do you mean? I just doubt. You I, guys are interviewing like the biggest K-pop. Right, player. right. <laughs> Talk about it, Harry. Oh man, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you're not successful, then who is successful? Then oh, do you think you're successful? You. See, we need to define success. Oh, first. see, now he's tri Talk that's that biology major shit right there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he flipped it on. Define. Yeah, yeah. I'm interviewing you. Guys. Okay. <laughs> what do you think success, being successful, means? All right. Um, <clears throat> I think success to me is just happiness. You know, because like, mm. you know, some people like when it comes to money, I feel like there's never an end to that. Right. So the people that value money more than anything and try to like find that as like a successful metric mm. they usually end up losing themselves right mm. so i usually don't view success the same way the majority looks at it mm. i kind of look at it as like hey i woke up this morning am i grateful that i can walk am i grateful that i can talk am i grateful that i can breathe like mm. am i grateful that i have a brother that loves me so much and stuff like that and mm. if i have everything that i need and then from there i can see myself as successful and then everything else sitting here talking to you is not success, it's a side effect. It's not like, mm. I already succeeded in my mm. eyes, you know? So that's kind of how I see success, but, and then there's underlying fears, you know, like, you know, I kind of want to help people. I'm, I'm more like those type of people. I like when everybody around me is happy. Right. And so that's where the burden that mm. you was talking about comes into play. Right. Like now I got to do this extra stuff mm. to make myself feel like I'm 
making sure everybody else is happy. Right. And if everybody else is happy as well as I am, mm. then that's like I can die in peace. Like that's mm. like success. Like I've uh, done. So like, I don't so care about money. Isn't yeah, is money is not even. It's, it's not a money. side effect. You know what I mean? Okay. But the money is for them. It's never yeah. for me. Really? You know? Yeah, I don't do nothing for myself, kind of. So I think if if he was like mega rich. He'd be like a what is it called? Philanthropist. philanthropist. Oh yeah, I do want to be a philanthropist. Yeah, hundred thousand percent. Someone you can ask them what a success is. CEO of yeah. a company with two hundred employees making four million a year. Yeah. And for others, it's just you know making sure my family in Africa has food. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Like yeah. make sure that I can hit that threshold every month. Mm. For me, it's really hard because like, for me to even say that this is success for me, first I have to find. Um, Away. I'm not saying I'm not happy. I'm okay. Right. You know what I'm saying? But like, I think I, there was a moment in my life where, where there was a sense of lost purpose, mm. where I sort of lost my purpose a bit because my mom passed and she was my purpose, right? She was my drive, okay. right? So it's like, when that happened, it was just like, mm. uh, well, I was betting on everything I did was for her. Right. But now who am I doing it for, right? I got yeah. my sister, but she's good. Right. I got him, but clearly I'm he's straight. good. straight. I'm good. He's good if I'm good. You <laughs> right, know what right, I'm saying? Right, so right. it's like, Damn. Okay. Well, I gotta find my purpose first, and then I can tell you right. I, whether I, what's my success looks like. Also, oh, you're going through it at yeah. the moment. At yeah. the moment, right now. Shoot. Ah, yeah. And what I've learned recently is that, especially right now in this time, everyone has something that they're going through yeah. right now. Whether it's finances, that. whether it's relationship, wh whatever it is, there's something. But for you, because we're interviewing you, you got us answering these questions. I don't want to. <laughs> no, I don't want to go anywhere. You guys gave like the perfect answers. <laughs> Damn! I mean, I think for me, the definition of success is kind of similar to, like, it's like middle, middle, okay. in between. Definitely being happy uh, in what I, what I do, you know, for my job. Like, I don't want to have a nine to five job and mm -hmm. just be miserable. Yeah. You know, yeah. so I would rather make less money yeah. doing something that I love. That for me is being successful at life and also just being financially, uh, like secure, su secure, like yeah. sustainable, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. for my for myself and my family. Mm. I think as long as I could keep a roof over my head, yeah. have food to eat mm -hmm. for me and my family, mm -hmm. I think that's enough money for me. Uh, I love that. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I'm. I never try to like make be a millionaire, billionaire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's not one of my that's passion real. or goals. That's real. Yeah, as long as I have just enough mm -hmm. to get by. Mm -hmm. Uh, without any problems, I think that's enough money. Like, I think problems is very, I was talking about this with him mm. and I heard somebody say in an interview to kind of like solidify my theory on this. But I think problems is always necessary for happiness and love and everything. Mm. Imagine a world where you have no problems, no Ooh. challenges, no burden. You're the best rapper alive. You don't, mm. you don't, it's not even funny. It's not like if you want to get a girl, you can get her like this. If you mm. want money, you can get it like this. And you're, it's like, do you play games? Yeah. Do you realize that every time you play a game and you finish it, you're tired of the game? Right. It's because you beat all the challenges. Yeah, yeah. So a life with no problems mm. is not living. a life worth living. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think that all of us should make an effort to pray for good problems mm. and always pray for problems because mm. if you have no problems, that's where depression goes. You know what I mean? That's crazy. I, 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 but <laughs> he told me that. I was like, Boo. does it make sense? Does it make sense though? It makes sense. Damn, I don't appreciate the light. Uh-huh. Unless there's darkness. God, I try to sound <laughs> Nah, you killing it though, bro. He uh, said, I try to sound As soon as you said that, I looked at your shadow, bro. I'm like, we're getting deep, bro. You got a lot to you rap about. You don't appreciate the heat. Oh. Unless there's cold. Ooh! How you gonna wear a sweater <laughs> when... It was hey, listen, bro. Listen, nah, bro. I don't know why they signed you, Fashion bro. is uncomfortable, yeah. right? You can't, listen, you, you dress the best when it's cold outside, right? Mm. When it's hot, all you got is a shirt and a, and a short. All right, all right, you know what I mean? So if you let me get to where I was nah, getting you're it. you're diluting the message right we now. We over here. I'm sorry. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Man, right. I was getting somewhere though. Y'all just didn't give me a chance, bro. I don't know. All right, my deliverance, I'll work on it more later. All right, guys, we're in the next segment. We're Indeed. about to play Two Truths and One Lie. Yes, sir. With PH1. The game the thing that we just thought of like on a whim. Uh -huh. All of us are going to say three stories. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody's going to go one by one and say three stories. Yep. And amongst those three stories, two of the stories are true and one of them is a lie. Mm -hmm. I got three stories. Y'all job is to figure out which one is fake. I feel like all these stories are going to feel. And by the way, I don't know who these stories. You didn't tell me or anything. I okay. might know because I know him, but. Uh, so, 
growing up, maybe like a couple years ago. Mm. I don't like the way he's looking at me. <laughs> I'm looking at like, I'm a no. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, me and my cousin were seeing the same girl damn. for seven months. Damn. And we both had no clue. Seven months, bro. Story. Next okay, story. Se second story. Mm. So in high school, growing up, I had a crush on my substitute teacher. So it was my English class. Okay. And like um, the sub would just come in whenever the teacher's absent. So I had a crush on her. I was like, damn, she's dope. I got really close to her. And so like... You know, I was working my magic, got really close to her, and I was like, okay, well, I'm going to this game, I hoop, like, could this you come? Makes sense. This sounds right. Could you come to the game? Okay. She's all like, yeah, for sure, like, I'll come. Okay. She came, and the whole game I was on the bench. Mm. No lie. Damn. Mm. That, that sounds like a real right. story. Like that a sounds because he's, a, he's a basketball player and all that. Did you end up bagging her? No. Oh. Tell me the truth. Wait, Tell wait, me wait. the truth. You can't ask no more uh, questions. You asked two questions. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, pass the interrogation room. My right. third story. Mm. Um, so growing up, I, when I was in Africa, mm -hmm. this was like maybe eight, nine years ago, mm. uh, I used to raise chickens and goats. You used to raise chickens and goats? Wait, that's not my question. I, used to <laughs> <laughs> I fed them, mm. I groomed them, mm. and I took care of them. And then I sold them because that was you like a family them. business. I, I think Africa. I have a good question for this one. This is my question. Do I know about this? No. I don't. You, that's a bad question. I'm gonna tell you why it's a good question. I'm gonna tell you why it's a good question. Do I know what this is? Wait, let me tell you know if you know. Wait, wait, let me tell you why. Hell? Listen, listen. I know this guy like the back of my hand. Okay. If I didn't know this, because you can you can drip out the question to make it sound crazier. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, uh, like okay, 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 okay. So, you didn't know. So I don't know about this. So Okay, that's it. How long I, have you guys been friends for? For like 15 Why years. Now, how do you not know about this? That's the question. I got it, brother. All right. So the three stories. You you fed, you raised goats and chickens. Yeah. You substitute, substitute teacher. Yeah. And him and his cousin dated the same girl for seven months. So the second the one I believe is true. Yeah. Right? It sounds true. Yeah, the first one and the third one. I'm gonna be honest, man. Um, <laughs> The fact that I don't know this third story <laughs> makes me feel like that's a lie. But I was also, like, he was touching his face. Yeah, the there. first one. Back when I was in the Why he can't yeah, be like yeah, that? Yeah. I don't know about the first story. Come on, either. man. Yeah, yeah. Gotta... The first one is not true, bro. First one? I don't Which think one? the first the, one's the, true. The, the, the... You mean the last one, last story? No, nah, the first story. What's uh, the called? cousin? Yeah. With the cousin? Yeah, the girl. <laughs> why not? I don't bro, see why not either. Ain't no way. I don't know this girl. And he tells me everything. So? Maybe it was like embarrassing. To tell yeah, you like the oh. fact that him and his cousin both waited this Bro, you know what else I didn't tell you? I'm not gonna tell you. I'll tell you off camera. Ain't no There's hell shit I didn't tell you. All right, so what you wanna do, bro? I don't believe the goat and chicken story. <laughs> Ain't no way the first story is real. What you wanna do though? I think the first story is cap. All right, let's let's go with that one. And then you I, think I, the I third kinda believe story. that's cap too. Let's let's just. Let's How do you just... not know that you 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 two are dating the same girl? That's because me and my cousin didn't live together. All right, let's go. I mean, that's possible, though. Me and my cousin you know didn't I mean? Make up your mind, bro. All right, just let's play how rock, paper, scissors. If right. you win, it's three. If I win, it's All one. All right, right. Rock, paper, scissors, true. Did I win? I won. Yeah, okay. So first story is a lie. What's the first story? The cousin. first story is the cousin. Yeah, it's a lie. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Hit him again. Yeah. Hit nah, nah, him hard, bro. <laughs> You yeah. see? So you raised goats and chickens? Yeah. I don't want to notice it. Hey, I'm a him, bro. I really you, did you it all. You sold them? <laughs> First story. Okay. I cannot sleep without listening to horror stories. Why? Why? I don't know. Somehow I find comfort. No! Yeah, bro. <laughs> Ain't no way that's true. Got his ass. All right, all right. Next story. I have spent over three hundred dollars for a rock once. For a rock? For a rock. Where? Yeah, I was gonna say where. eBay. <laughs> Korean. Equivalent of okay. an eBay. Coupon? Right? How big is this rock? Is it like small? Or Just that fit in this type of box, like this big, this big. Is it like a crystal rock or something? Like it's an actual rock. Well, how many questions? Lying <laughs> on the beach. I'm actually yeah, curious. Yeah, yeah. No, reg regular rock. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Third story. Hmm. I have once privately sold feet pics to an anonymous fan for a lot of money. That's a lie. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a lie, y'all. For a lot. How much? Uh, your question? Yeah. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Fifteen hundred dollars. Fifteen hundred? USD or USD? Just one stuff. Okay. I'm gonna look at you different if that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Oh, that's a long time ago. He folded so. on the first one, the whore. Yeah. 
Do we like horror type shit? Like, I think we should say uh, that the third one is a lie. But like that could be true, you know what I'm saying? Remember, bro said he moved out here. I have nice feet. <laughs> I would never know. I don't think I even need to know, sir. <laughs> you want to pick one? I think we should go with the third one. Okay, so the eBay one sounds realistic, obviously. Yeah, the rock. Yeah, that's crazy though. The but first I... one don't make no sense to me. It's the first one that he sold it. You know why? Uh -huh. Because he's been on tour this whole time. You telling me when you're on tour you can't see without a horror movie? That makes no sense. To me. You think the first one's a lie? Yeah, the first one got to be a lie. You oh sold the God, feet pick, bro. Huh? Ain't no way you sold the feet pick. All right, let's do what you want to do. Number one. All right, number one. Is the number one true? Lie? Hit him. No way. Yeah. What? So, so, you did, so the third one's a lie. Yeah, of course. I've never, I've never sold I don't know feet why. How am I to supposed you, to know? <laughs> <laughs> why would you believe that, bro? I don't bro? know, bro. You said you wasn't making money. You was a nobody. Bro, peer you didn't pressure, never, man. Never, this is never, crazy. Never. <laughs> he didn't get hit yet. Get my turn, my turn. All right, it's me, you, V. Okay. Story number one, back in Africa, Senegal, as a kid, I was a very curious individual, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, um, uh, one day, you know, my, <laughs> <laughs> one day my, my aunt, you know, back, bro, like as a kid, they, they, they use you and they tell you to, you know, uh, go buy milk and go buy eggs and stuff like that. So I'm gonna make sure I don't look at none of y'all. All right. So as a kid, they asked me to go get some eggs, you know, in the, in the little, in the little E Mart, all right? And as I was going, a human devil <laughs> what? chased after me, and I had to run for my life. What's a human devil? A human devil is a Kankuran, that's what it's called in Senegal. And it's a human dressed as a tiger with de demonic, devilish aura and they chase after you with a sword. Oh, is that like a um, myth, mythical creature mythical or like creature. a religious Mythical thing? creature. That's two questions. I'm done with you. <laughs> mythical creature. Uh, right. Story number one. Human devil. Is that, oh, wait, hold on. Is that kind of uh, realistic? Hey, hey, why are you no, asking? No, no, hey, no, hey, no, hey, we can discuss. Hey, hey, hey. We can discuss, of course. Yeah. A Kankuran is like, like, it's like, it's like a human. Yeah, but, but like is that kind of like painted. common to see? Uh, it's not very common. Honestly. Sometimes you might see it every few. You but, know what I'm but like, this person had a sword and he kills people, and so yeah, they, he they tried to kill me. chased after. Why you? are you asking me questions? <laughs> I was asking myself. Is that right? You chased after you. Is that right? Okay. Is that right? <laughs> Story number two. Okay, okay, okay. As a kid in Senegal, West Africa, I wasn't the most confident individual, and so. Valentine's Day was coming around the corner and one of my friends started boosting me up, man. He was all like, yo, you are him. Go tell this girl that you like her and do it in a romantic way and you gonna get a girl easy, you know what I mean? He was giving me tactics and stuff. So what I did, I went home and then uh, I took the bus to this jewelry spot and then I bought like a nice little chain, a nice little jewelry, you know, chain for girls, right? Not for men. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> that nervous laugh. <laughs> and then for men. next Not day for men. <laughs> I couldn't sleep. Insomnia kicked my butt like crazy, bro. I couldn't sleep, you know. I, I had to, you know, get this uh in the bag, you know. So uh um I went to school and this is like our school in, in Senegal is like this. Like it's a big field. Like you get in the entrance and as you're going, it's a big field, a huge field. This is where they play soccer. This is where you play basketball at the same time. So it's like soccer field and a basketball at the same time. It's huge, right? And then you have to walk past like in front of everybody like a modeling thing. And then over here, everybody sits and waits for their classes. That's how our school looked. And so I, I walked that. past everybody and then sat with my clique, right? And then, you know, we was chilling and then, you know, I told my brother, yo, I'm about to do this. And so the way it worked is like on the left side is where the kids are. And then on the right side is where the seniors are and stuff, mm. right? And so I walked over, kids don't go to the senior side. So I walked over the senior side, which is already some, you know. It's a big deal. It's a man. big deal, right? As I was going, everybody was just looking at me, and so I grabbed her hand, and I... Oh, she was a senior? She was a senior. Oh, right, 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 right. She was a senior, brother. That wasn't my question. That was, uh, you didn't mention that. You're right, you're right. So, grabbed her hand. I said hi to her, blah, blah. I wanted to tell you something, and then I brought her, like, in the middle for some reason. I don't know why. And then I got on one knee. 
<laughs> and I said, would you, I said in French, I said, would you like to be my Valentine? And every, everybody in the school swarmed me. Oh. And uh, they were just like, I didn't even know when they swarmed me, but, but they're like, they swarmed me. And then they were like hyping up. So she wasn't in the position to say no. So she said yes. And that was like my first girlfriend, I believe. I don't even remember, but I think that was my first girlfriend. Three days later, she broke up. So <laughs> that's my second story. You have a question? Hey, hey, who are you? Yes. Why are you asking me questions? What are you doing? Please. Why are you asking me questions, Shadi? You said you guys were together for Why are you asking me questions? He already used your question. Oh, she was a senior? That wasn't my question. That was a, uh, you didn't mention. Hey, you asked me like five questions, bro. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. What's your question, my brother? Go ahead, ask it. Wait, so what did you do within those three days with her? Nothing. <laughs> I, I that, think, sounds, that sounds believable. So, so That's this, a concordant so origin <laughs> <story>. <laughs> Did you become a Kankuran after that? <laughs> a mythical creature. <laughs> hey, okay, more context. It was on Friday, so like, it's the weekend things, you know? And you know, I was just texting her, blah, blah, and then I forgot how she broke What do you think? Well, this sounds too real. Third, qu third story? Yeah, blah, third blah. story. All right, as a kid, in the pits, in the mountain pits of Africa, <laughs> I decided to go to the safari with my fa with my family, parents and stuff. Safari full of wild animals. You know, I went to the place with no tigers and lions though. And uh, as I was chilling there with my people, I saw a giraffe. Must have been Bobo, but saw Bobo in real life. And um, I said, "Yo, I want to I want to climb the giraffe. You know, I want to I want to you know get on the giraffe and ride on it and stuff. It was a baby giraffe. And so my dad, feeling spontaneous, he was supportive of it. My mom wasn't cool with it. But as soon as my, you know, mom, you know, skedaddled, my dad took me, tossed me up, and I was on the draft, you know what I mean? How old were you? <clears throat> I was about, you know, almost 10, give or take. But, you know, I was holding his neck and was I was- your dad tossed you at 10? Wilding out. <laughs> That's my three stories. Oh, that you, you, you were- You, you know uh, why this could be yep. believable? Hmm. No, there's no way this is real, bro. So human But it devil, could be. Because he wanted to have this driver so I bad. I love giraffe. You feel me? That 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 yeah, thing right there. Is it possible for people to like climb up on a giraffe and they, they don't like go crazy? Oh no! Or well, I've mom, never the mom giraffe did a hit you like that. I've never. <laughs> you know how giraffes fight? I've right? never seen it. Like, you're right. You're right. That's how they fight. Um, giraffe proposing in front of the whole school, which is something I would never ever do. I'm an introvert, so. Um, and uh, yeah, a human devil tried to kill me. Human devil is believable. Human Let's devil tried to, to kill me. Yeah, yeah. Hey, it ain't believe A human devil? That's believable. A human devil. Because like a Kankuran, it's pretty frequent. A human Africa. devil. Okay, okay, okay. So I think that's believable. Okay. Man. We can put that aside. Now it's giraffe and the proposal. I don't believe the giraffe story though. The the second one, proposal, sounds too real. Yeah, too, yeah, too much, much detail. detail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Giraffe. giraffe. Is that is that your last uh, thingy? Yes. Hit him. <laughs> <laughs> Yes! Thank you! Wait, why is he not being hit? Like, hey, Kankura! This, this is what a Kankura looks like. He's a Kankura right here. Show him, show him, show him, show him. That's what a Kankura Yo, looks so like. All right, as we all know, the infamous segment, Tea Time, we're about to drink Senegalese tea. Mmm. Senegalese tea. Nice. Brewed for about three hours. Really? It's very, very different from probably what you're used to. Um, God damn, he's so excited. I need to get that excited. I don't want to burn you. It's really good though. I think um, it's one of our favorites. Really? Mm. Oh wow! Yeah. That's good. It's sweet too. Yeah. I kind of want to try like the iced version. Oh, of this too. I've never tried that actually. Really? No, I never. I've Should. never heard of it. It's all because it's usually. Brewed. I don't think it's even. It's like a sweet. Thing. It's sweet too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I would love uh, to. You do probably that. like. Yeah, you're right though. This would be dope iced. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I ain't think of that. Oh, so good. <laughs> <laughs> you cool with your neighbors? Neighbors. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. This is a random question. Yeah. I don't really know who my neighbors are. Oh, okay. Do they know that you're their neighbor? Like, yeah. Do they see? There's you? a girl that lives right underneath uh -huh. me. Uh -huh. um, is she a fan? Yeah. Like you don't. You're not scared for them to leak your address or anything like that. Nah, that, that doesn't happen here. Cause right? I'm not a. I'm not a K-pop idol. So it's not you're like still a too crazy with like a lot that. of fans, bro. Nah, I don't get like that level of uh, you just, crazy fans uh, but yeah. you, so idols is like that here so you just 
Yeah, like big idols, they get paparazzi, stalkers. You yeah? Know? Yeah. I've never been stalked before. Oh, cool. Thankfully. Cool, cool. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so your fans are cool. Yeah, yeah. Just, but so, even when I'm outside, like, I always keep it to myself. Mm. Okay. Like, just very, very private and very personal. I, I, I like fans that respect my boundaries. Oh, dope. Yeah. I don't like it when people just, like, feel they're entitled to, yeah, yeah, yeah. to come up to you right, right. mid-conversation when I'm right. having a conversation with somebody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They like cut me off and they're yeah. like, oh, sorry, I'm your fan. Can I get a flick? Or can you sign this, whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, it's cool. I'm, th- mm-hmm. I'm thankful that they're my fans. But at the same time, it's like, can't you see that I'm in the middle of a conversation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I mean, having my own personal time. Yeah. yeah. So as long as you respect me as mm-hmm. a person, mm-hmm. I could do whatever for mm-hmm. you, like yeah, yeah, yeah. to my fans. I could yeah, yeah, give yeah. you whatever. Has there been like a crazy encounter with a fan before with you yeah does it a lot or yeah yeah shout out to the fans shout out to the fans we love y'all i can't yeah don't you worry brother okay that's gonna be but like on a surface level what it was like it was kind of like i had really um close fans like fans that i kind of knew on first beat first name basis Mm -hmm. because they came to all my shows and stuff oh that's cool. Uh, but something ticked them off, something that I did or whatever. Long story short, they became antis. Like like that. Oh. Like they like broke my CDs and stuff like that. What? And then and then they apologized to me for doing that. So I I was like, okay, that's okay, just don't do that again. Like let's, you know, leave it in the past. Mm-hmm. Right after, the like next day or something, they came to my schedule and they acted like nothing ever happened like but yesterday they were like cussing me out but today they're yes- like okay, okay no no, no. like no, the I day before it, it, they yeah. were cussing me out yeah but the but the actual day they were like like i love you like oh, bye. i love you can you sign this that's when i had like a panic attack almost oh, i was like damn this is this is crazy yeah so from then on mm. i kind of have like trust issues towards my fans mm. so i'm more careful uh and that made me not reply to my fans' messages anymore. Oh, okay. I don't like getting on personal levels mm-hmm. with fans anymore. Because you just don't know what to expect. What to expect, yeah. and they might just turn away That's all of true. a sudden, start hating you, start cussing you out. Yeah. It's like, and I, as a person, I feel betrayed when that happens. That's so true. it's like, I understand that. I feel like having fans that, that really support my music is great. Mm-hmm. I'm very blessed to have fans, but mm-hmm. at the same time, I don't like to get that close like that intimate yeah yeah on a I, personal no, I get level. you 100 yeah, yeah, yeah. and that was a traumatic experience for you yeah, right yeah. like even the fact that you're a bit like antisocial, right i'm sure that came from somewhere yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. right like i think everyone has like things moments in their life that formed them to be who, what the way they are now yeah. right yeah. so and everything happens for a reason too yeah. and you know that saying when they say that if you give somebody an inch they always take a mile mm. it's like every time you give them a little they take way too much yeah and you know at, at the end of the day you giving them a part of you you don't do that for anybody and so yeah. you know ideally in a, in a beautiful world you would think that they would be grateful for it and not take it for granted yeah but instead they did and so i, I can see how that can like create boundaries in general not just fans like yeah, in, yeah, general. in general yeah, yeah, yeah. that happens all the time yeah, you know? yeah. And that happens to him a lot but yeah, I, I think ooh. we can we can well, dig i got later. too many stories we can dig <laughs> later on that one you know we just started you know I what i'm saying your story bro i got too many i can i can i just pull them on my ass his, his life is a movie for yeah, real. Yeah. like i'm the introvert he's Almost an extrovert, uh, whatever. Yeah. I'm not extrovert. He's an extrovert. He's but in he the thinks I'm extroverted. Yeah, yeah. But like, I'm in sometimes, the sometimes what your friends tell you mm-hmm. is more accurate. That's what they say. Yeah. But I don't know. I just I'm kind of like, like you. A lot of my friends tell me you're not an introvert, mm-hmm. but I consider myself to be an introvert. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you can't see yourself. You know, yeah, like yeah. a mirror in front of you is basically your friends. You know. Yeah. What yeah. I mean? So like you are a mirror for me. So like you can tell me stuff about me that I didn't realize. Mm. Yeah. And vice versa and stuff mm. like that. So. Please believe me. You're an extrovert, brother. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, bro. I mean, maybe I'll keep thinking about it. Yeah. But an extrovert is crazy. Like, when I meet new people, for example, mm-hmm. I don't right away. You just, just have trust Hi. issues. You just have trust issues. But oh, you're yeah, an extrovert. You, you guys uh, know your MBTI? You know MBTI is like huge out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I know mine. Where my uh, Mine is... Oh, you should guess. I N T P. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Yeah, you I, knew, I knew you was going to get it right because this version of me, I don't wow. really show this version of me a lot. Dang. I, you know? I don't know. I would have guessed E. 
but he said you're an I. It's E. Oh, it is? That's yeah, what he's yeah. That's what I'm saying. Oh, but he's okay. such an in I don't denial. know if I don't know if that stuff is real, by the way. I don't believe in <laughs> He's a denial crazy. But E S. Oh shoot. E N E N F J. Close though. E N T J. Oh, okay, E N T J. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you are probably. Oh, I. I think I can clearly an one. I. Your I. Where's I the hammer, Jay? <laughs> I N F P or I S F P? Which one? I N I N F P. I N F P. Wow. Nice. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's interesting. That stuff here is so cool. Like that's really that's really a career thing, though. Yeah. Like you go to the U.S. and say, "What's your MBTI?" They'd be like, "What, what you say to me? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> what you say about my mom?" Back that? in the days, it was blood type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. So now that's not a thing no more. The blood types? Not really. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I never kids. understood that. But anymore. MBTI is kind of like it's kind of reliable, no? Because it's based on it's the pretty, questions. It's, yeah, 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 yeah. It's pretty yeah. accurate. So, yeah. I see it as more accurate than the zodiac signs because oh, in, in America, yeah. it's zodiac. Yeah, What's yeah, your zodiac? Yeah. I hope you're not a oh, Gemini. Uh, you're a Scorpio. <laughs> yeah, all oh, that you're stuff. Virgo. <laughs> I'm not really too big on that. <laughs> no, I mean it. I'm, I'm, I'm a bigger fan of the MBTI yeah, stuff. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Are you fulfilled in your mm. work life? Mm. In my work life? Yeah. No. No, I want more. Mm. Um, and I think I'm right now, currently going through my next, uh, uh, going through this stage of growth oh. as, a, as an artist Dope. by doing a world tour. It was my dad's first time ever seeing me perform. What? Ever. Oh, talk about it. Yo, yeah. what? Oh, I mean, he, he, he like, was never in Korea when oh, that I had sense. shows. That when, he, like, when he visited, he visited uh -huh. for like 10 days, whatever, but within those 10 days, uh -huh. I never had like shows, whatever. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, Yo, that it was his been, first time. That must have been. And it was one of the biggest shows that I did by myself. So it was crazy. Damn. And all my coworkers, ex coworkers from the dental office. Mm -hmm. Hey! <laughs> they pulled up to support you? Yeah. A lot of these shows, I expected a lot of Asian people to come out mm -hmm. because, you know, I'm an Asian artist. artist yeah. But not really. It's a lot of diverse. Just diverse fans. Everybody. Diverse. Fans. Oh. What would you say is like black people? A lot of black people. Uh, white people, uh, Hispanic people, just everybody. Yeah. And Asian yeah. people. But, That's uh, sick, bro. Was yeah. it like a fearful moment? Like, oh my God. Like, when like I went to like ATL, like Atlanta? Because Atlanta is like more, and more hood, like hood. It's got yeah, that yeah, like, it's like hip hop, you know, like <laughs> trap. It's like that trap <laughs> music. Yeah, like, trap, yeah. Obviously, a lot of, you know, uh, you know black folks mm -hmm. come through. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, shoot, like I'm an Asian rapper. Like, <laughs> I need to like prove something. I don't know. I felt like I was put to the test or something. Okay, okay. But okay. you did just, you did But they were like visual. vibing out with me, yeah, yeah. chanting with me. Yeah. And I saw you was with Cha Cha as well, right? Yeah. Cha Cha Malone. Cha -Cha, yeah, yeah. Uh, Omar as well. Yeah. yeah. Those are our Oh, you people. know Omar? Yeah, yeah, I, love that. I actually yeah. met at the same time as you in the Heads in the Clouds. Shout out to Ted Park, too. Oh, Ted, Ted Park was there, too. Ted I saw there. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my best friend uh -huh. back home. Like my best, be like almost like mm -hmm. you guys. Yeah, I've yeah. been friends with him for like over a decade, like 15 mm -hmm. years or something. Yeah, whoa. He's the reason why I started hip hop. He, he also wanted to become a rapper, so we kind of like had a group. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But he never really like followed through. He had like his, his uh, realistic issues that okay. he had to follow. And so now he kind of like lives vicariously hey. through me. Oh, you yeah. had him backstage? Yeah, of course. Woo! That's dope. Sure. For sure. That's dope, bro. Yeah. So I think I he like was very that, surprised bro. to see me perform Damn, in front bro. of like almost 3,000 people. He probably people, teared. Yeah. He probably teared up on that. Those types of stuff makes you emotional though, because yeah. like you see him as like like I mean your friend probably saw you like in the beginning. No, because we like used that. to record in like our Together? tiny the ass closet. You know, yeah. you know when you're humble recording, like have a blanket on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. humble <laughs> beans. I know, I know. Ooh, you didn't have that much. Back then, day my day one. He's my day one, and we used to always like talk about like imaginary scenarios. Like yo, imagine. We become rappers in Korea, and then like Damn. people like Tablo, like we we're working with Tablo or Jay Park, whatever. But that's actually happening what to me. Happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's God. So that's it's just crazy. That's, that's that's amazing, we do that bro. too sometimes on some. Yeah, yeah. Just imagine fun. we do. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that actually happens. happens yeah. yeah. And it's, it's, it's emotional. It's a crazy bro. feeling. Man, it's emotional. Do you have any other pa passions, maybe apart from music? Uh, I'm preparing to launch something. Okay. Very soon. Okay. Oh, oh, this oh, year. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. And okay. that's another passion of mine. Okay. That's great. See, A little like, hints is like just, you know, you know, I'm into. Okay, okay. Got okay, it, okay, got okay, it, yeah, got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Got okay, okay, okay. Send me the, the package <laughs> okay, okay, okay. when the time presents itself. 
<laughs> that's dope, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's dope, dope. Bro. So would you say you're at your happiest when you're like creating music or performing on stage? Like when are you at your peak happiest? When maybe when you're with family, mm. with uh, you know, the gangsta Holly, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like your gangsta truest Holly. form, but your happiest form, right? Mm. I think times like now, mm. when uh. I'm chopping it up with friends. Mm. It's dope. I love that. That's dope. Yeah. Oh, so we're friends? Yeah. Chingu! Come, Come on, man. Give me some yeah. love. Yeah, bro. Yeah, me, man. I love that, man. I like man. that, bro. See, and you know, you collaborate with a lot of people, man. I love your music. Thank I love you. all the collaboration. I've seen it all. I mean, probably not everything, but I've right. seen, you know, my favorites. And I actually just yesterday we was with some folks and, you know, it was like, yo, we're about to shoot with PH1 tomorrow. And they were like, oh, PH1 did something with TXT. Mm. I just oh, yeah, yeah, discovered yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. did a remix to their yeah, song. Yeah, with Woody Goldchild. Yeah, with Woody Goldchild. Yeah, Shout out Woody, Woody man. Yeah, yeah. Man, Woody, come on the show. Don't be scared, <laughs> well, he, man. I think he's getting out the army soon. Word, soon. word. Oh, yeah, we'll be around. It was like an online thing. Oh, okay. I never got to meet them. Oh, okay, okay. Which I, I would love to. Mm-hmm. Right, right. But um, it was cool. It was cool. Yeah. yeah. It was a bop, though. I like how they made you start the song, you know, for, like, yeah, for the yeah, remix yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, but I definitely, like... Here's the thing, I think I tweeted this once like a while ago, but I really wish that a lot of crossover happens between K-pop idol groups mm-hmm. or idol members mm-hmm. and Korean rappers or R&B artists. Yeah, we need that. A lot of collabs. I feel the know? same way, bro. Me because too. I feel like these K-pop groups mm-hmm. have crazy amount of fans. Mm-hmm. The scale mm-hmm. of fandom is just insane. It's crazy. Man. Doesn't even it's crazy. Right. But what we have, like the Korean rappers, R&B artists, whatever, what we have is, even though it's a lot more smaller, Mm -hmm. uh, more authenticity. Yes, yes. You know, to our music. So when we do collaborations, it's like a win-win for them, uh, for for both of us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 100%. I see that too. And I've met a lot of idol members, Mm -hmm. like in private situations. Mm -hmm. What they always tell me is like they really want, they have this hunger of, of like artistry oh, or musicality like they want to be musicians express artists themselves yeah. but it's like they they're in a group yeah. uh, not that not that they're unhappy but yeah. they have their own passion for music yeah you know what i found interesting like just following k-pop in the past few years is that like whenever like an artist in a k-pop group has a solo mm. it's always insane yeah. mm. like when they do it themselves and it's like mm-hmm. just yeah. them yeah 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 they I'm show like, more of this themselves. is sick, you know what I mean? So it's just like... This should happen more, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it yeah. should. That's what I'm saying. That. Like, yeah. you know, like, and honestly, that's kind of how... Because like when we got into K-pop, it was more like groups, 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 right? Mm. But then at one point, we started looking at solos. And I think, top of my head, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think one of the solos we watched for the first time was actually Jackson Wang. Mm. And at first, it was just God 7, God 7, God 7. But once we saw Jackson Wang and we saw him mm. as himself, yeah. I was all like, bro, this is real raw talent. Yeah, and yeah, nowadays, yeah. he's doing... His own thing with ADA Rising and stuff yeah. like that, and then you know now. Did he do something with Gucci Mane? Or he something? did. That's right? the Papillon, I think. That's yeah. what it's called. Yeah, yeah. I might be hey, wrong. Was that Gucci? I, I might be uh, wrong. That was that, that. was like either Gucci Mane or something else. Some, someone else. It but was regardless, Gucci the Mane, crossovers needs to start happening. Yeah, I yeah, think it's time, right? Yeah, I think the K hip hop to K pop, the K pop to hip hop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, All yeah, that yeah. stuff. I think it should yeah. start. Yeah. I think it'll be really dope to see a different side. Bro, yeah. and I'm telling you, bro. Like, when I saw J-Hope did that song with J. Cole. Bro, J. Cole is my favorite rapper of Dude, all time. Dude, me too, bro. Work? Say you me swear. Too. What's your no, favorite J. Cole song, bro? Nah, I know nah. all of his nah, stuff. Really... Sideline Story. Sideline Story? Sideline Story. That's oh, fine. That's I fuck with that. Bro, I, I, I like the, 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 the mixtape. Uh-huh. Uh, the, the, the one with the locker room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You talking about Friday Night Lights? Friday Night Lights? Yeah. Or you talking about the one with the ball? Yeah, that's Friday Night Lights. What's the best gift another human has ever given you in your whole life. Best gift? Yeah. Wow. A cup of attire? Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I appreciate it. it and it doesn't have to be like a gift gift. <laughs> right, right, no. Um, I think, obviously, okay, bes- besides my parents, right? Besides my parents. Because obviously parents gave birth to me. Yeah. They supported me all, all along. Mm-hmm. Besides them, I think Jay Park. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Jay. He's given me a chance, you know, to, to start my career. And from then on, I worked my ass off and he helped me a lot to get to where I am That's right dope. now. That's so dope. salute to Jay. Shout and out to Jay. And he's done that man. to 
countless people, yeah, number yeah. of people yeah. out here in Korea. Yeah. So shout yeah, out to Jay, I, man. Yeah. I mean, he, he gets a lot of respect and credit, but I still think that's he not enough. He doesn't get enough. Yeah, yeah I agree. For the amount he does for people. Bro, that man, he's full of love. He's like a ball of love. You know what? We also met him in Heads in the Clouds. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. We, we met together. together. Yeah, 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 yeah. We met together. Yeah. And he literally gave us his word saying that he's going to come on the show. Yeah. And, you know, he came two days ago and stuff. But at first, I didn't think he was going to come on the show. I, I was all like, hey, man, he's just talking, you know, like usual, you know, mm. typical stuff. But this man is literally a man of his word. No, oh, yeah. And there's sure. not a lot of people like that nowadays. Right. You right. know what I mean? Especially in this industry. You know, you got to find the authentic people and stick with them. Yeah. Mm. Right? Yeah. And, yeah. Those people you should never, like, let go of. So check care of your man, people. Bro, you know right? what I'm saying? These yeah. are things that that we stand by, make sure everyone's good, and uh, just live your life to the fullest because yeah. you might not see tomorrow. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Nowadays, uh, so many people, including myself, are going through pretty dark times, and maybe this could help me, it could help the audience, it could help him, it could help anything. But for you, what is something you typically do when you feel like you're in a dark place and you want to get about that rut? <laughs> not sure if I want to. <laughs> Be funny, man. Ah. <laughs> to end this episode out, we learned a lot. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. Shout out to Harry for coming on, yeah. or aka PH1. But to end it off, I just have one question yes. for you, bro. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if you guys didn't know, he said something very funny, and we cut it. We're trying to take two, not working. <laughs> Yo, be serious, man. Yo. <laughs> he gave me that look. Yo. I was like, I'm not, nah. not going to look at you. Bro, bro, look at the fuck. Be serious, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I right, don't look at each other, man. All right, All right look at the camera, guys. All right. Come on. In when you're feeling place. down, you're in a rut, you're in a trench, bro, and you don't know how you're trying to get out. Mm. What do you usually do to, you know, feel better and get out of that rut? I have um, an electric bike. Oh, where? Okay. So I, I ride mm -hmm. my bike. Uh, alongside of Hangang, mm -hmm. yeah, for like hours. Oh, like yeah. what listen time of the to day? Uh, horror stories oh, all the time. Yeah. Is that what gets you out of? What's your out favorite of it? scary movie at this point? Like Conjuring. Oh, shoot, I don't know. Recommend me. So. Insidious. You watch all of those, right? Insidious. You, you never watched Insidious. No. Oh, you yeah. never watched Conjuring. I did. Okay, Insidious. Insidious, Insidious is pretty oh, scary. It. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Today, yeah. you're gonna it. love that shit. That's yeah. the scariest movie in my opinion. Insidious. Insidious and Contrary. Okay, Those cool. Two. I love you guys so much, man. This is Harry, PH1. Shout out Harry, man. Lou and News Full Squad, you guys already know us. And uh, I'm very, very happy that you gave and us thankful, yeah. this much time of your day. You know, you could have been doing anything. Appreciate you, you brother. you decided to spend it with us. So I really appreciate that. Mm. Thank you so much. And uh, is there anything else you want to say to the camera before we leave? The fans, anyone? No, I mean, shout out to you guys for having me. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Uh, this didn't feel like work or interview at all. Just, just love, felt like bro. friends chilling. Nice. Love, bro. So yeah, I, I'm having. I had a lot of fun here. Great. Oh, great Got to great. try a Senegalese yeah, tea. Time. Yeah. Uh, heard some crazy stories. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. Yo, I just so, need yeah. to hear yours, man. Next time. Next all time. Right, <laughs> I have <my> stories ready. <laughs> okay. Appreciate you, PH1, and uh, yeah. Without further ado, we out. Peace. 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 Later.